Hey y'all, Tammy here with Happy Arts Creation and welcome to my today. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. All right. Now, I did something. It was a happy accident the other day. Totally. Let me get my gloves so I don't forget. But it was totally a happy accident. I started off doing one thing. It did have swipe. It did have some... It was supposed to be blown out and bloomed and all it. And every time I turned around, it was wrong. And I was fixing to scrape it. All right, so let me show you the picture. So right before I, I swiped the whole thing, and I thought, now nah, there's something missing. I gotta do something with it. So what I did was this. I added these blooms, and can you see that shine? Look at them. They have dried. This whole thing has dried beautifully. And all I did, I did a bottle bottom pour. That's all I did on those, basically, and added that to that today. Okay. Well, we know that works, and I like the way it looks. So let me put this up so I don't get anything on it, because I have done that before. Turned out beautiful. I saved some of the, the drippings and mixed up all the little bit of leftover paints, and I'm going to paint the sides with that, and it matches perfectly. Okay, so today I was playing around with colors. I thought, well, why not do something different? And I thought, okay, I'll try um, a different color, but I still kind of want to keep it in not monochrome but very much in the same family okay so I wanted to do something different and I got to thinking about those times when we lived the time that we lived in Alaska my husband was Air Force and so we lived in Anchorage and we went up to Mount Alieska and that's where he asked me to marry him and anyhow it was really really a neat time but down below before you went up in the um, oh the thing that brings you up the ski lift thingy before you go down there, there's this beautiful field that had all kinds of spring flowers, all kinds of stuff, but it had those tall, they had to have been four feet tall, but I think they're called, mm, they're part of the onion fam, alums, but they were like huge purple, beautiful gorgeousness, and there were beautiful little bumblebees, and the whole thing in yellow, uh, tulips, and daffodils, it was just... I mean, it was gorgeous. And so my brain kind of went there. So I want to go purple theme. And so I thought, well, I'm going to play. And so I started playing with my, um, here's a tip. And it can't hurt my thing, so I'm not going to worry about getting anything on it. There might be, but. Okay, here's a tip. I was just playing with colors. Can you all see that? Let me move these over. And as I was doing a few things, I thought, well, I don't like that. So I started um, swirling around. I swirled around. Then I blew in it. And it opened it up, and it reminds me of kind of kind of one of those alyssum. So alyssum, alums, I don't know what to call it. This here's a little tip. This here is just a piece of um, fold, uh, a folder, you know, thing. It holds stuff, and it'll dry, and you can peel the stuff off and practice. So if you ever have issues where you want to practice, I was even practicing trying um, some, uh, what is it? Oh, I forgot. Hang on. The milk paint, that that just blew up everything. I wasn't a fan of that. But I do like what I sh how my flower turned out. Okay, the only thing that I'm doing that's different is, and um, let me get a paper towel. Got some stuff on my hands already. Anyhow, um, this right here is gesso. Gesso, literally gesso. And I added some neon pink to it. Um, I think this is Artist Loft. And it comes out to be this beautiful, and I put that on there. And when I show you what I do for my flowers and everything, you're going to be amazed. It kind of sometimes even kind of looks like a rose bloom, but it looks like the alyssum or alum. But I think it's alum. They're part of the onion family, believe it or not, I think. Anyhow, it's gorgeous. So I will be using that, and it's so pretty. All right. This here is... Um, I, uh, Liquitex dark violet or something like that um, and Liquitex oh wait a minute Liquitex violet and I added some black okay um, so it's really dark it's kind of like a um, oh it closed up a uh, what do they call that mm -hmm. um, <coughs> doxazine Okay, and I think when I made this up, I didn't have any doxazine. I do now, but I didn't. All right, so I'm just cleaning out one of these 
my bottles here. It had a little bit of booger in the top, and I thought, you're not going to give me grief now, are you? So, <laughs> and these skewers are great for poking those whole, those lids open. I could always make it a little bit wider. I'm using Artist Loft um, Flow White. Uh, this here is Deco Art Metallic Berry. This is Artist Loft um, Neon Pink. And this is Cridacridone Metallic. It's a mix. I don't know the exact brand on that one. That's going to be my flowers plus my light pink um, gesso. Okay, and it's very thin. The gesso is very thin. You can use it as a cell activator actually when you're doing your blooms. Um, so anyhow, uh, then for my swipe I'm going to use all kinds of uh, colors. I'm going to use, of course, I'm not going to use the gesso on that. I'll just get that out of the way. And by the way, I got this at it's Master Touch. I got it on with the coupon. So basically, I think I got it half price actually or 40% off at least. It was just $10 and I got it half about that, give or take. Um, this is medium light violet, just kind of um, a violet where I just added some white. This is extra light, okay, violet. This here is the gray, the gray purple that I've been using. It's a little bit thick, but you know, I don't worry about it. Okay, this here is a mixture of the dark purple and I added some iridescent to it so I definitely want some iridescent um, oh this is my swipe it's the only paint that has a little bit maybe three drops of um, uh, silicone I'm not a big silicone fan but you know sometimes okay so there's that and get that out of the way this is um, <laughs> ghost violet by um, naked fusion it's one of the pigments okay it just has a purpley pinky violet kind of thing to it and this one I'm gonna add a little bit of blue but I love it it's 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 kind of a deep rich blue um, it is from Naked Fusion also and it's called um, Peacock this is what it looks like right here okay so that's what I got there and I mix that with my mixture of the um, Fusion pouring resin, which is not really resin, it's a medium basically, and the um, <laughs> polycrylic. Okay, so that's what I mix that up with. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. I am not using the bottle bottom pour. Okay, I'm not going to do that today. I just feel like I need to do this other. But basically, that's all I did. I did a bottle bottom pour, but I was kind of afraid to say much of anything because if it didn't, it didn't dry right, then I didn't want to do it. You know, I mean, why share bad news? But yeah, you know, those are failures, but this turned out to be a beautiful accident, so I'm very thankful. Very, 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 very thankful. All right. So, take these lids off. Y'all, I am so bad about losing these lids. Let me put it in something this time. You know, I do this now, and I won't remember later. <laughs> okay, so do they all? Where are you? Okay, so they all have it. I've checked. I've, this here is to say um, 12 by 24. Oh, jeez. 12, no, 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 no. 10 by 20. Where is my measure? Okay. Da, da, da. Yeah, it's... It's 10 by 20. 10 by 20 um, uh, wood board. I've already covered the back because, yeah, I don't want anything on it. These resin up beautifully, and that's why I like to use them for these kind of techniques, okay? It's got even a little, like a dent or something that may have hit it, but, yeah, I'm not worried about that because it won't show. All right, let me move these over. Get them out of the way because they're the last thing I want to do. I've got my little swipies and I'm just going to be throwing these away as I got them. I'm trying to get rid of them. I found another stash of stuff I had. Okay, and I got my favorite stick. And I might use this to blow a little bit. So there we go. Got all my good stuff. So I am going to start off, and, and this is going to be a big swipe, y'all. A really big swipe. I'm okay with that, okay? So I'm just now, I mean, it's going to be a lot of paint. A lot's going to come off. 
So, let's just do it, okay? Let's fill it up. And let me move this. This was even, this was level, and so I've got stuff underneath it. Um, I'll probably add some white, a little, um, I don't know. There's not a whole lot of difference, but just enough to say, yeah, there's, there is some difference. These are things that I had made up, and I kind of, you know, oops, uh, want to use them up. It really doesn't matter if you're not, and I use bottles from other things that I have. Um, this here is the purple gray, and look how nice that is, huh? So like I said, monochromatic and kind of, sort of. I think everybody kind of loves purples and blues, and I know that they go together. Like Periwinkle is a beautiful purpley blue, I think. So I think it's gorgeous. So we might put more of these paints on. I don't know. That is awful thick. All right. Let's add some of the dark purple, and I probably will put more of that on, I think. I definitely want dark purple in this. All right. So I've been up since about 3.45 this morning, and just one of those nights I can't sleep. Still struggling a little bit. I am definitely not past this bite. But every day seems a little bit better. Yesterday was a better day. I actually ate well. Um, unintentionally have lost weight. Because <laughs> I haven't had a big appetite. But yesterday I ate pretty good. So, you know, we're okay with that. Let's add some of this. Oh, see, this is going to add something just gorgeous underneath. I think I'm going to put more of that purple, dark purple on too. I don't want too much of it, but just enough to say hello. Okay? All right. And I love, love that color. We'll put that on very last. Let's add a little bit more of this, because I'm trying to fill in some spots. I think I'm going to use the rest of that. Hey, for people who just, you know, like to reuse and repurpose stuff, my daughter has two, two boys, and they're growing out of certain things now. One's almost two, and the other one turned three in July. And um, anyhow, so they're getting rid of some things. And she had a, a baby um, changing table, and... Y'all, they make the best things to use in an art room. Plenty of room for, you can put totes in them if you want, or you can fill them up, but, you know, the little part where it has the pad. Um, anyhow, let me throw this in the water. And uh, that she um, gave to me, one of the, the ones that were, it was used, but I don't care. Um, it was used from before. It was like she repurposed it, and now I'm repurposing it. And um, she still has two more, and she has a family member that might pick one of them, and maybe I can grab the other. But they are perfect. I mean, and so I was able to move around, you know, some stuff. All right, so here we go. Um, I might just put a splatter of white. Okay, that's all. This is going to be smeared. That's a lot of paint. I know. Can you see the shimmer on that? I can, but I, oh, every, there we go. Every once in a while, you can see it. And so I think when this dries, it's going to be gorgeous, too. Yep. I did a little bit... Last night, I, I, that's basically what I can do. I do a little bit, and then I just, I just kind of rest. I need to take care of, take care of yourself, y'all. All right, no big deal if you know things happen, and um, do, 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 do. I don't feel the need that I have to um, make a video every day. It's fun, but I don't think I need to. So. 
Um, so right now I'm resting. Okay. In between. <laughs> All right. Let me put. I probably don't need anything else. And when I was doing that other painting, the happy accident, I um, I spilt this, and so I had to make some more of it. But I love that color. Then the other colors are just going to kind of step out, and then I'll use some green, which I don't have out. I'll do that. I might get that out in a little bit. But um, that's good. Lids. Just lids to these things. And I have a big bucket to put um, my uh, a bucket of water to put those things in that need to be washed and can soak so that, you know, they're not so doggone hard. Right? Okay. Let me move that one out of the way. And I finished the purple. So that went to that. Awesome! All right. So what we do normally with a swipe, and a swipe is pretty well easy. I'm going to go around these edges a little bit more. Or not the edges, but put a little bit more in. I feel like they're when I tilt and stuff, I need a little bit more. Yeah, and I got that lid with some purple in it, but that's okay. All right. So I'm going to tilt a little bit this way. And I'm not worried about my sides at all. I can cover those. And I'm just basically mixing some paint up. All right, and then I'm going to bring it back like that. Aren't these colors beautiful? And bring it forward and back. See, I'm filling in basically those holes that are there because I'm going to swipe it. But look at the colors. Look at the colors. They're absolutely gorgeous. And again, there's just cookie cutters from the Dollar, dollar Tree. So, um, anyhow, do do. If, you know, you're looking for something like that. And they have like a silicone on them. And so everything comes off real good, real easily. So, and I've had those for a very long time. Okay, guys, we're going to swipe. Now I'm going to swipe. Let me get a spoon because that just, I'm going to swipe a little bit at a time. Just because this is such a, a wide canvas and I'm going to swipe across, not down. Okay. And if I have to make more, I will. All right. I hope I have enough. If not, I can make some. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna torch because there's a bunch of bubbles in this one. And I just put my uh, jacket here. I bought it a little bit big, and so it kind of hangs. And I'm gonna have to wipe it down so I don't get it all over everything and me. Just a few little bubblies. Oh my gosh, that color. There we go. Wiping it off the front of me. Hmm. Okay. All right. Hmm. This one's going to be dangerous. You are dangerous. There. Cover that up. So I'm going to start where you can see it, and I'm going to go start right up in here. Now remember, your um, swipe needs to be, I'm be able to cut these, your swipe um, paint needs to be thinner than the rest of your paints. Okay? All right, here we go. Let's try this. Just lightly on and bring it. I may stop. And I say that because I don't think I have enough to go all the way across. So I may just do half at a time. So. All right. That didn't work real good, did it? Well, it did. It did. It's still beautiful. Woo, I'm getting in it. Mm. You ever have a song on your brain? Oh, I've got it. Sometimes I dream songs. I went right across like a dingbat. And, um, yeah, that's kind of soaking down, isn't it? 
Let's try again. And I'm only going to go halfway. Tammy, come on. Halfway. Stop. That's better. Yep. My dreams are generally music, music led. <laughs> Anyone else do that? I seriously do. I have dreams that are just, I wake up with this song on my heart. Look at that. Gorgeous. And see how that blue is coming out? It's just, it's going to be a gorgeous swipe. I love these colors. That might be a beautiful Dutch pour. Mmm. Remember that, Tammy. All right, let's try again. I love these spoons. Dollar Tree again, y'all. These are just in the baby section. And, um, anyhow, they are so easy so easy and they wash and they're easier than a stick the sticks drive me nuts y'all I mean I have them and I use them but yeah they drive me basically nuts And just lay it down gently and let it just kind of glide across. That's what I'm doing, okay? Now, the only difference with the last one that I did is that I did blow a lot. So I may, even with the swipe, I still may um, swipe. Uh, let it run off a little bit okay to get a little bit more of the paint off I do not want too much paint on it I mean by golly it really really did dry nicely and I was a little afraid of, of it not drying right so let's put the white here in the middle these aren't too bad these right here usually they're a pain in the keister or they're not the greatest you know think of a purple song. I know there's one out there and I just I can't I can't bring it up. I'm not even worried about those places that didn't quite get it. Time to change. And it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. I know some people, and I'm one of them, like that, like the other day, I got so frustrated. And I know it was because part of it was because I just haven't felt good and I was getting really frustrated. And I don't normally get that way again. It was just because I've, I've been having a hard time and I thought, well, okay. Then I lost a bunch of videos, but y'all, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't put that stress on you about it. Because it does not need to be perfect. You see how un imperfect this is and how much I really don't care that it's imperfect. And it's your art. If you love it, go for it. And if it isn't working out, then by golly, try again. Keep doing I mean, I literally was about to scrape that other one. Literally. Literally. My husband laughs at me because I say that a lot. Literally. I was about to scrape it, honey. I promise. And um, he's my greatest supporter. He knows that this brings joy to me. Okay. I think this is gorgeous. And before I even... Um, I'm going to move this a little like this. Just a hair. Oh! Now you get to see my penguin paper because I'm about to get myself in it and I know it. All right, so I'm going to go this way and let it just go. 
and then I'm gonna it'll make it prettier too I think and make it go this way and it is I don't want to overstretch and I might even give it a, a crazy like why not right go for it Let's get some of this. It doesn't have to be perfect, and that other one surely was not. And if I wanted to, I could do other things to it, which I'm not there yet, but I could if I wanted to. You know, like this. <laughs> Anybody have one of these? They're great. All right, so I do have a lot of white like in this certain area. So yeah, is it bothering me? Just a hair, so what can I do? Let's see without messing it up. Well, I'm only going to do it once and see what it turns out to see if it gets those bubbles. And I can always just take a little time. Oops. There we go. I can hear my pup pups out there just barking like crazy. And I could also, you see, I'm just kind of dividing it up a little bit and breaking that up. Let's see what it brings. I mean, I'm just basically practicing with y'all. See? Because this is going to have some beautiful flowers underneath. Those areas that I kind of pulled apart. Okay. So what I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to let this dry for just a hair because I think it'll be better if I do. Okay, um, that's what I did with the other two because I ended up trying some balloon rolls and everything and it just didn't cut it. So I'm going to let this dry for maybe, I'll set my timer for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Then I'll come back in and I'll show you how I do my beautiful, and I'll get the real name of it. Okay, all right, I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Hang on. Hey y'all, I'm back. Okay, I've let this set. 20, about 23, 4 minutes, something like that. And I put it up on my um, turntable just so that I can work a little bit easier without getting paint on me because I've just about kept doing it and kept getting it all over me. So, okay, I've got my paint here. I'm going to start off with my dark violet. Let me get my, my tools over here. Okay. Oh, I got the picture I wanted to show ya. Oops. Oh, there we go. Can you see that? That's kind of what I'm looking for. Now, these won't be perfect, and they may look like a mix of something else, but um, that's what made me think of the little, the ball things. Um, let me shut my phone. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to use these colors, and it seems crazy that I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. And I'll be doing different sizes, a few, I don't know. I know I'm going to do like one, two, three, and I might do a baby, I don't know, a little baby, I don't know. Anyhow, and then I'm going to do later long, they have long, dark stems. But when we were in Alaska, it was one of the things that is always, always, um, stayed with me so um let me move this i did put paper underneath Woo! and i took my finger earlier and just went around the edges but i still may have to do that again later so don't get out of order all right so i'm gonna start right about here and all i did was i put a that that's it then just like you would do a balloon Okay, and, um, and it turned out so pretty. I was just really not surprised, but yeah, I was surprised. And um, anyhow, 
All right, and here's that one right here that you just wouldn't think, but it does work. So I'm going to use it. All right, let it sit. Not a sack, but um, oop, don't you fall off. Okay, y'all. I'm going to blow with this first. Okay, and just I'm going to blow it out kind of like a bloom. Kind of, because I want that, that pinky... Um, gesso like stuff to go over it. So here we go. Ooh, let me see. Here we go. Now that's what it looked like when I was done. And it does form some cells. Then at this point, I took my stick before I did anything else, and I just got paint on my bridges. And I started in the middle. And I do that. And this is how I'm going to get this nice round ball, basically. Now, mind you, I didn't have, when I practiced, I didn't have that base underneath and then I blow it literally so I'm gonna have to hold my hair back make sure there's no paint on my hair so here we go guys now I'm gonna leave it be and just leave it be okay where's my stick I just had my I said I'm gonna leave it be I'm not gonna quite leave it be It's a journey. Okay, now I'm going to let it just kind of hang out. See how pretty that is, though. Now, it this pink, um, next time I won't put quite as much, and I'm going to put a little bit more purple in it. But there's going to be different shades, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, guys, you ready? I'll put more of that in in the end. A little bit of white, not too much. I think I, that's what I might have done. Like that. This is where I'm going to add the purple. Purple. I put I think too much last time of this, but I don't I don't care though. I still love it. I still love what's going on there. Okay. And I'm moving stuff and I'm trying to stay. Let me move. Definitely need more dark. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's pretty right there. I'm gonna blow because it did make it. It makes the layers do something cool. Let me watch my hair. I'll let it bring it back down. Maybe this isn't quite doing what I. But I think it's because there's a base. But I'm not worried about it. So let's do this again. It is darker. Might even do this. I'm 
remember it does not have to be perfect but look how pretty that is looking it is gorgeous look at that right in there it does make a difference all right I'm going to change up. This time I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to do this one first. I love that color. And this is where I'm going to put the pink. I'm just switching it up. I want to see the the best layout because it's still going to mix. So, pink. Oh, let's put the this. I don't want this on top. So, but there's something about this um, that makes it makes it better. I don't know why, but it does. So, okay. Y'all ready? Oh, I'm going to put another dot of purple right there in the middle. These are just my regular paints. My, my, all my recipes are underneath in the description. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, my gosh. Look at that one. If I was going for that look, right? Okay, so here we go. Um, one tiny pink dot right there. Right there. Okay, got my favorite stick. See, that's what I want just a little bit more. Oh, I didn't blow it out. Huh? Do I need to? To get the same look? All right. Let's do another. No, I don't want to do that. I might have ruined it, but let's see. I'm going to let it gather back down because it's actually going towards the middle. one didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it, but it's still, because I messed it up, but it is still gorgeous. OMG, y'all, I'll bring you in for a look on these right here. And I know I'm messing around, but I want a, a little bit of purple in here. Anybody else just think it's okay to mess around at your painting, right? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe that didn't help a whole lot, but it gave some circular. And I don't know how these are going to dry. We're hoping and praying. But basically, this is what I did last time. I started off with a whole different technique, ended up swiping. Okay? Then I used my bottle bottom. And anyhow, that's how I got what I got that everybody is uh, loving. All right, this one I'm gonna make small. Let's just let's just mess up the order. Oh, now I better put white now. And a dot of this, and a dot of that. And we're going to blow it out. Oh, 
Oh, my hair's a mess, y'all. Can y'all see me bowing that there? There. Okay. And I'm not worried about it making cells because I'm not doing this as a cell reactor right now. Okay. It just gives, see how it's giving this look? That's what I'm wanting. Oh, then I'm going to blow it. Like that. Oh, that one might work. I forgot my technique. Life is good. Oh, let me bring it back in. See, it'll come back in. It's not quite ready. All by myself, I don't want to be. I don't know why I'm singing that song. Let's just do it like that. Ready? Oh. You see that blob of something? Oh. That was gross, huh? It might be because the pain underneath is starting to dry. Okay, so I need to hurry. Just plain. I'm not taking away my cells, so I'm elongating them. That'll be definitely abstract, huh? Let me bring you in for a close-up. Since this is higher, we can do that. Can y'all see those? Look at these right here. That looks so pretty in person so so pretty and this swipe is so beautiful and do I have any green that would work I do mm, that may not be mossy enough let's see what I got in the start no that's not dark enough it's like a cactus. It's very thin. It's more of a Dutch pour thin. I don't want it that thin. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 ba. Oh, this one's a little bit darker. That's a little bit darker. And definitely thicker. Alright. So you're going to see me take one of these beautiful pipettes. Let me go back out because I want to do this while it's wet. Oops. Okay. I'm going to take a pipette. I'm going to suck up some paint. And that's exactly how they have it, too. Um, they're just long, fat, and this will spread out. So let's do it. Um, I can see that there is definitely a coat starting to form on my painting. Or our skin, kind of. So I'm going to, oops, bubbles. And I can fix the straightness in a sec. I'm just trying to get the paint on. 
and then I will enhance and embellish it in just a, in a little while. After it dries. I got those little their little pipettes. I got those at Hobby Lobby. And yes, I am incorporating it with the base. And it might suck itself up. It may, you know, kind of go in. So yeah, my paint is definitely drying. So, I mean, that's not a bad thing. That just means that it wasn't too thick and that it's already forming a, a skin coat. I'm going to torch our little beautiful flowers. They may bring up some pretty cells. I think this is very pretty. Now, it's not finished. And this is one of those things that will be um, torch. I mean, um, resin. Okay. Um... Don't be afraid to experiment. Um, try out, oh, what is it? Dropping Paint by Diane has been doing some blooms with the um, cell activator as a gesso. And you can use black and you can actually tint. I see bubbles in my, in my dealie here. Um, and I didn't want that many bubbles. Okay. Um, you can tint gesso. So anyhow, um, I know that I'm going to highlight these with some shading and some darkness in, bring some more darkness, but at least the base is in. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all have got to see this. Hang on. I don't want to handle it too much because I know me, I'll get myself in it. Look at that. Can you see it? Look at those. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful, and there was nothing hard about it. Okay? So anyhow, guys... Thank you for spending today with me. I am so appreciative of that. Um, if you like it, thumbs up. Oh, let me bring it back out. Thumbs up. Share with your friends. And go ahead and um, subscribe if you're not already. And I thank all of my subscribers, though. Um, now, y'all have been so good to me. And I'm very thankful. Okay. Um, can you see this? Look at these print. These, remember, there's that violet, um, ghost violet. So when this dries, there's gonna be lots and lots of pretty blingy, blingy, bling. All righty. Um, okay. I will see you next time here on Happy Art Creations and go spark some happy, okay? Lots of need for it right now. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Goodbye. Goodbye now.